In this lesson, we are going to build a side view mirror. To start out with, we will go to, say, our top view and build a cube. And this cube will, will just simply build place or move the control vertices to be a little closer to our final shape that we're looking for. And somewhere in there. There we go. Excellent. And now we'll just make some adjustments. We'll move that one down, these guys up. Let's go to our front view. Pull them in. There we go. And we could do this in um, in smooth version, but I do like having seeing the box mode to really be able to place these points where we want them. And then I'll continue to make adjustments as we go. Let's go to our top view and do something like this. We'll pull that out. Like that. Great. Let's have a look at our smooth version. And you can see right away, it's starting to really look like our mirror. Go ahead and pull those up and over. We don't need the this rounded shape on, on this side, so I'm gonna just pick, make sure I didn't select anything else. And we will delete those faces. And now when we smooth, we get a nice clean edge to work with on the back side. This also allows us to have different edge loops on each side of the mirror. Where the stock is may require more geometry, and on the other side, we wanna keep that as simple as possible. Let's go ahead and insert, let me pull that down. We'll insert an edge and one here. Great. I think, Let me pull this up. This seems like it was a little high. There we go. Now we'll insert an edge loop right there. I'm gonna take these four pieces. And if we go into the top view, you can see that's basically the start of the stock. And I will extrude those. And we're going to take them and just bring it all the way over here. And I'm gonna place these essentially like this. Right on the edge, I'm gonna pick all of those vertices, grab the scale tool, go to zero, and then we'll move those in line, something like that. And then we don't need the faces, so I'm just going to delete those. There we go. And it looks like this one and that one could come up just a little bit. There we go. And that one come down a little bit. I wanna give this a little bit sharper shape. So let's do something like that. Just move it in X and then we'll keep it nice and clean. All right, that's a great starting point. Let's take a look at how smooth. Wow, we're really close already. The shapes are nice, but if we wanna start really adjusting this, we're gonna to wanna to reorganize our topology. And what I mean by that, first of all, let's look at this. We added some extra, you know, edges over here to control our stock. But now when those loops come all the way to this side, you can see there's a bunch of extra rows and it's very flat, it has a couple ripples in it. So we'll wanna make some adjustments. One way of doing this is we could reduce take three edges down to one. And this is a very popular technique in order to kind of make some areas higher density topology and then other areas very light. And to do that, we'll just cut. And I'm gonna go from that corn vertice to this vertice to this one. Great. And then I can pick this loop and this loop 
and delete. And then here, if we go to box mode, you can see we end up with two triangles. <clears throat> when we surface or when we smooth those, you can see it turns into three four sided surfaces. But if we want to keep these all quads, all we have to do is delete the center one. And now that middle one is a quad and it becomes kind of a nice little transitional surface between those. And that looks fantastic. And because we're down to basically just three edges, very easy to control the resulting shape just by picking those points. Pull these ones up. There we go. A little closer to our final shape that we want. Let's say, for example, we want to make the stock mirror have a little bit more of a sharper edge in this area. So we're going to add in an edge hold. We'll just start with this level and I'm just going to show you how I would, I'm going to just cut this, how I would reorganize it so that we end up with quads here. Then I'm going to come across here. And so there's, let's go back to edge mode. So now we have quads along the bottom. I'm going to grab this edge and delete it. And I'll cut from here to there. So it's kind of back where we started, right? But we have a nice edge area here. We're down to a little triangle. I'm actually going to just pick these faces and delete them. I'm going to pick this edge and extrude it up like that and just put a nice little chamfer across the front of that area. And then when I go in, I'm going to bridge and bridge allows me to select two edges and connect the two to bridge them. And then we're down with this triangular area, but you can see there's four edges here. So I can go from bridge from here to here. And then we have that nice three edges down to one. And then when I smooth, I kept the same shape overall, but now we have extra geometry so we can really get a strong leading edge on this mirror. Now let's say we want to improve the transition from the main form to the stock. We'll need to add a few more rows of edge loops in this area. The easiest way to do that, we could get rid of this edge if we want, like that, to keep it really simple. Yeah, why don't we? What we want to do, if we want to add in an additional row, we can just select all of our boundaries of those two forms. Perfect. And then bevel it. We'll add in a bevel. We probably don't need the extra bevel in that area. Perfect. That looks good. And now when we smooth it, you can see it's tightened that form up and given us basically a nice fillet between those two elements. Now in this area, it's really changed our typology and it's added in this extra kind of shape in this area that we do not want. So what we can do is just pick these two CVs and we'll just spread them out. We'll give them a little extra room. Pull these guys out a little bit. Whoop, I didn't want that bottom one, just this two. There we go. We'll pull those out. And so now we get a nice clean taper into that area. And you know, we can make as many adjustments as we want at this point, move that in, let it flow differently, but it's getting something on screen as fast as we can. And then we'll make those adjustments after the fact. If we look at the actual surface that will be, will meet the mirror, we can see it's all over the place. I mean, that's, that's not clean. So we'll need to make some adjustments for that. What I'll do is I'll just pick a curve and I'm just going to make a plane that is exactly where the mirror will be. And to do that, I'm just going to grab a surface. We'll go to the draft tool in the NURB surfaces. Draft with double sided single surface. Excellent. And then I'm going to grab all of the vertices. Whoops, we don't need our our um, curve, so I'll just delete that. We'll grab all of our vertices, align to surface here, and we'll select the surface. 
And now that I've done that, it's basically snapped all of those vertices to that plane. And if I move the plane, you can see the construction history drags it out. Let's go ahead and we'll go back to box mode. And I'm going to pick my edge loop. I will extrude normal because I want a little offset surface. And we'll just do something like that. But notice this is no longer adhering to the plane. And so that just requires me to come back in, pick all of the surfaces or the CVs. Something like that. And we'll go right back to that align to surface and we'll add those to our plane. And so now we get a perfect boundary for the mirror. And if I want to finish this mirror up, I'm just going to grab the loop, edge loop, and we'll extrude. We'll stay normal, something like that. Extrude again, normal, just to give it a little offset. And then we'll come right back out. And I'll make that a little sub flush. Perfect. And then to finish that, we'll just grab that mirror, not cut, fill hole. I'll grab that whole edge and I can say multi-surface, which divides it up for me, or I can say single surface. Now, if I say single surface, that is an n-gon, meaning there's more than four edges around the poly or the, the face. And so if I smooth that, you know, let's just place our plane into our layer, hide it. You can see it adds this pull, this little spider effect around there. And it's soft on the edges. To clean that up, I'm just going to select all of the edges on the perimeter. There we go. Sometimes just doing this with no shading, I'll make sure I grab the right one. Perfect. We'll go back to shading and I will say crease. Now I'll just grab these, whoops, this edge loops on in the inside and I'll crease those as well. And so now when we soften it up, you can see that we get a nice boundary for our mirror shape. Now, if this is too soft, this rollover, the easiest way to fix that or to adjust is just to grab the loop and we're gonna add in a little bevel. Now we could just do two or if we really wanted to want a sharp shape, we can add in a division. And so that will give us a sharper shape around the outside. So play around with that. This is a, a perfect opportunity to build this mirror, see how fast you can create it and make adjustments to the, to the form however you would like. And uh, let's turn on our reflections, nice and fluid and smooth as a final result.